Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for notifications to the show and you can watch it. We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins and you can also find us on Twitter X. This episode, viewer discretion is advised, okay? Trigger warning. There is going to be a lot of sexiness. There's going to be a lot of hotness. You're going to have feelings that you didn't even know existed. He's such a man. He's such a take charge man. Yeah, yeah. But before we get to that, we have to get some uh, Harry stuff out of the way. Harry is out of the UK. You guys are so lucky who live there. He's gone. He's already on his way. Well, he's probably in America by uh, now. He's I don't on know the West left. Coast. So Harry left. Now, if anybody doesn't know which one Harry is, do I really have to point him out? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Karma, listen, had he not said that thing about his brother, yeah. we would not be making light of this. Yeah, he said it in spare. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Harry is gone. He left 24 hours after, which really, truly does make me believe Stephanie's theory that he was summoned. He was summoned. And not actually going out of the goodness of his heart. This was absolutely a summoned uh, trip. I believe that Harry and Meghan leaked that People article magazine and said his dad called him and, and told him his prognosis. Now... I think there's a half truth on that. I think the palace called Harry and summoned him to the UK for that 20, 30 minute meeting and sent him back on his merry way. And my theory is, is because of the LAX thing. He did not go to the Van Nuys airport. He didn't even leave out of the Santa Barbara private airport. Well, he left out of LAX, which means it was an official trip well also he usually flies american airlines when he mm -hmm. flies commercial he flew out of british airways right. which does make sense it does seem very coordinated because he was even put up in a hotel yep it seems very coordinated it just harry does not sound like the kind of person that would hear this news and just jump to his father's side i'm sorry it just for me no. it i doesn't pass the smell test no um, it he, just, he, would, he would be one of those guys that would be like, well, how bad is it? Exactly. How bad is it? Should I get on a plane? No, he was summoned by the King of England. Yeah, I think so. On official business. Now, this is our theory. There are other really good theories out there, too. But just from our perspective, just it doesn't sound like Harry would just go there and have everything work like clockwork the way it did. Yeah, I don't think this was a father-son moment because no. what you're forgetting is he's got two sons and I'm sure the other one, the older son, is far more concerned about yeah. the king's health. And his wife? Yeah, and than his... uh, Harry, Harry would ever be. And Zara yeah, is probably so upset. Him running to his father's side just so he could spend 20 minutes with I him, just, it. I, it just it doesn't make no. sense. That was an official business trip that had to be done. The king, something was the said. The king had him come, something put him up said. in a hotel. Security was around him twenty four hours yeah. the whole time he was there. He couldn't have his phone. He probably couldn't. I'd be shocked if he had to wear pants. If he could wear pants, they probably took his pants off. They when probably he took his into pants Clarence off. House. No, I would. Kidding. I would take his you, pants you off. You know what I mean. But I, I, just I would actually have him walk in in his uh, knickers. Yes. They leaked as much as they could to People Magazine. They leaked as much as they, they could, could to Backgrid. Megan. Megan. Yes. They leaked as much as they could. But if it was a Harry and Megan show, he would have, he, like I said, it would have been documented the whole time and Megan would have win. Well, the proof is in the pudding because these were obviously not taken by Backgrid. These are very official pictures and that those were taken. Are from the palace. Yeah. Well, this, I, I believe it is also his private security okay. as well. Yeah. Maybe one guy. So Harry did spend the night in a hotel. He did not spend the night in Clarence House or with any other of his relatives because I think he's burned every single bridge yeah. in London and with his cousin. This is what happened. I believe this is how Megan had to spin the fact that he was at a hotel for the night because it did leak out that Harry was at a hotel. This is an American publication. This is the New York Post that put this out there. They did talk to this ex-butler, I do believe, and he definitely did spend the night in a hotel. They wanted you to know this. Whoever put him in the hotel wanted you to know this. So ex-butler reveals the real reason Prince Harry decided to stay at hotel while visiting King Charles in London. There's a lot of 
weird words in that. Prince Harry decided to spend his sole night in London at a swanky hotel to show the royal family that he is capable of supporting himself financially, according to King Charles's former butler. Now, this is such a silly, silly thing to say. Supporting himself. Well, then ridiculous. you know what? You know what? This is ridiculous. I've I've been able to stay at a hotel this for the, the night. Mom, yeah. Dad, guess what? I can support myself this, too. This is uh, the Post. No, well, this is New York Post yeah, that this, picked up the story from Reuters. Oh God. Okay, the Duke of Sussex, thirty-nine, is already en route back to Montecito, California, after just twenty-four hours on home soil, less than an hour of which he spent with his ailing father following Charles's cancer diagnosis. Grant Harold, who worked for King Charles for seven years when he was the Prince of Wales's believes, now believes, that's an important word, words matter, that Harry opted out of staying with family at any one of the many royal residences in a desperate bid to show that he's grown up enough to fund himself. So someone paid this uh, ex-butler uh, to say all this because there is no way that any of that's true. It's strange he's not staying at any royal residences. Really? That's strange? Really? Is it really that strange? They had to plant this. Good Lord. Because obviously when they were growing up, they had rooms at Clarence House and at Highgrove, Harold exclusively told the Post. Well, duh, they were kids. That's where they lived. That was their home. Maybe he felt that it was only fair to show that he, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, is happy to support himself by staying in a hotel. Harry noted that the decision to check into a hotel rather than stay with family made no sense security-wise. If he was staying in one of the royal residences, the security is already there, Harold shared. If he's staying at a hotel, then he'll need his own security team, not if it was already pre-planned by the palace. Trust me, the, the, wherever he stayed, he was safe. And Harry knew that. Harry knows that any hotel he stays at in London, nothing bad's going to happen to him. He knows that. He he knows that for a fact. This whole uh, suing the home office thing, this is Megan and her crazy cast of characters and Harry being brainwashed. But he knows that once he steps foot on London soil, on UK soil, he is safe. I bet the safest he's felt in years is that drive to LAX. I bet that's oh. the safest yeah. he has, the security wise, just yeah. how he has felt. Now, obviously Harry couldn't stay anywhere uh, in the Windsor area because he's not allowed on Windsor property anymore because that's where Adelaide Cottage is and that's where the Wales family is. And he cannot be anywhere near there. There's just no way, they can't trust him. He's done too much to this family. Wouldn't it be crazy if like they summoned him and like at Clarence house. And then he walked in and the only reason it took like 30 minutes is because it was an in intervention and he ended up getting up and he's like, I don't want to do this. But like everybody showed up and yeah. was like, we're here to help you to please take this gift. Please take our advice. You know what I mean? Like we're begging you. This is our last ditch effort yeah your father really does not have cancer this was all a ploy, ploy to <laughs> I, get you to the uk that would be nice Do you know what i mean I and mean, then I he and then he hightails it out of there because a lot of people leave their interventions yeah. they're like man i'm not doing this no um, you know what i mean but it's nice as that would sound yeah, i don't think that, king charles no, would do that to his saying, country that be crazy? <laughs> i don't think king charles would do that to us this is an intervention <laughs> yeah, he really does i mean that would be nice because nobody wants king everyone is still really distraught about I'm really this. i'm in shock um it's all over it's still all over the American news. I mean, it's the headline. Yeah. It was the headline this morning on all the morning shows. So, I mean, <sighs> you know, it's awful. God save the king. So let's get to the hot portion. Again, I'm warning you. Palette cleanse. I cannot be responsible for uh, the feelings you were about to feel. Uh, don't get mad at me. And if you uh, have a significant other, you're welcome. Gla grab your glass of wine, ladies. Get your bubble bath ready. This is going to happen. So this morning, the Prince of Wales, Prince William, was at Windsor Castle for an investiture, which is always nice to see where he gives out uh, to, uh, uh, little medals to people in the that just kind of like do good in the UK. Yeah. And they get those metal things yeah, yeah, and he gets yeah. to put them on. So here is a video that Kensington Palace put out. If you haven't already seen it, I'm going to play it for you.
Do you think anyone's fainted? Before? I would faint. Like if you were warm, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and he puts it all, it's like, oh. Okay, so we have some really hot pictures that were taken inside the castle. Here he is. Come, I mean, it's just like, I don't even know what to say at this point. It's just I the, can't strain, even the strain. Function. Yeah. I mean, this man is just a pillar of strength. He is the anchor for his whole family right now. So nobody wants the king to advocate. That's certainly not us. We are from the school that King Charles deserves to be there. He has worked really hard to be in the position he has been in, and he deserves it. And we want to see him as king for many, many, many years. But it's really nice to see Prince William come and take over for his dad. And uh, here he is walking in. I would just die. I wish I was that woman. Is she a page or something? Yeah, they like, ugh, they're I wish so I was her. lucky. Here's another great shot of him. So hot. Yeah, and to the right of him is his equerry, that young blonde mm -hmm. guy. Oh. Here he is putting on a, uh, oh God, could you imagine? Being touched. If he put a. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just imagine. Just imagine. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I would die. I think my weird. head would explode. I don't I think I'd wear a fascinator. I'd be like, Ugh. I'd be like, oh my God. I'd be like, keep your eyes on it the whole time. I would put my head down because I'd be so nervous. I'd be I'd like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I would. So he's done these before, but it's always nice to see him come out and, and do these. They he looks a little pale. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, he's he looks, he's tired. Yeah, he I looks mean, dehydrated and a little tired. Yeah. But still the strain, you know, he's exuding. He's going to make such a great king. Such a great king. Here's a very uh, beautiful shot from uh, another photographer. This is making its round on Twitter and Instagram. It's a great shot. Here's another great shot. I mean, just beautiful, just gorgeous. And I love that he's in the castle and we get to see the uh, the inside. We've been in that castle before. Mm -hmm. We were lucky enough to... Uh, to go tour Windsor Castle when they uh, have it open. But it's just so nice to see him. He just looks so good. So he did that in the morning. And then we were all looking forward to the black and white gala for the London Air Ambulance Charity. We didn't know, uh, you know, what it was going to be about, who was going to be there. But we knew it was going to be fantastic because anytime Prince William is in a tux, I am there for it. Yes. I am there 100 percento. So the London Air Ambulance Charity, it is a charity that delivers an advanced trauma team to critically injured people. And it basically like makes it so the helicopters can still run because helicopters, I guess, go out a lot. They're always needing fixing and stuff. So this is one of the many charities that he is a patron of. Here he is getting out of his car. I mean, it's it's too much for me to even handle at this point. Yeah, he looks really good. He's the sexiness is definitely coming full force oh, there in this pic. I I seriously, when I first saw it, I got goosebumps. Yeah. I got really giddy and I got goosebumps. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's just everything that's going on too. Oh God, he just looks so good in the tux. Is he wearing his velvet tux? I don't. Yeah, know. that is the velvet tux. I don't know. Is yeah, that? he oh, reused God. it. Oh, he's so good. He reused it. You know, he just looks so good in that tux. So yeah. let him keep it's using a re it. Rewear. I, I don't love care it. what it is. Well, wait, why do you? Get... No, no, that's for the environment. No, I know, but yeah. he just, he can wear a garbage bag, oh, and I would yeah. be totally okay with it. Yeah. Okay. Or nothing. <laughs> That would be okay too. Yeah, I'd be fine with. I'd be fine with that garbage bag. Yeah, nothing. Who cares? Take garbage bag uh, off. Yeah. Okay. So I did not expect this, and I'm just going to say this is how weird the universe works. Okay. A couple nights ago, when I found out about King Charles having cancer, I was very upset, and um, I needed to pull myself off Twitter and Instagram because I just kept, you know, seeing pictures like that Paddington bear, bear thing. And that made me sad. And so I'm like, you know what, I just need to watch something that is going to clear my mind, clear my head. So I decided to watch the Mission Impossible movies, the ones I haven't seen. I've seen them all, I thought, but I hadn't seen Rogue Nation and Dead Reckoning. Oh, okay. Dead Reckoning being the newest one, okay? Well, I decided to see Dead Reckoning first, which was really good. So then last night I decided to watch Rogue Nation. Oh my God, out of all, I've seen all seven of the Mission Impossible movies, guys. Rogue Nation is the best one. So I'm watching Mission Impossible. I'm super into it, man. I'm dealing with like 
Jeremy Renner and Tom Cruise yeah. at the same time being hot. hot. And it's not like Jeremy Renner's the bad guy. He's the good guy too. Yeah. So I'm dealing with too much hotness at this point. Yeah. And this is all last night. I'm just like, oh my God, how am I going to get through tomorrow with watching Prince William? Like I'm going to, I need a break from watching how hot Tom Cruise is because yeah. he's so good in this movie. And then there's Simon Pegg and Simon Pegg does this thing where he's super funny, but he's also super hot in the movie. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, what am I going to do? I love about Rose nation this particular one it's no love interest you don't have to deal with his past it's just a plain ass movie that you can watch he's this is not an ad for mission impossible no no this isn't i i can i can tell you guys ask she just Stephanie, gets really excited i just get really excited when i watch action movies and that's why i had to rent this but this is what's so weird about the universe working like this where this man can do anything this man can honestly do anything mr tom cruise so i am just like wow that was a lot last night okay watching rogue nation who so then i see pictures of prince william at windsor and I'm, I'm getting those and then you and i go run an errand and then i say oh good the black and white gala pictures are finally out well guess who's there guys mr tom cruise mr mr mission impossible himself now i'm going to tell you why i love tom cruise so much too when he had the top gun premiere in London, he did this thing to Princess Catherine at the time. This was before she was the Princess of Wales. He put his hand out to her mm -hmm. and he said, may I Duchess? And she grabbed his hand and they walked up the stairs together. Guys, that blew me away. And ever since then, I said, you know what? I don't care about his personal life. People are gonna have, everybody has weird personal lives. Scientology. But as far as I'm concerned, this Tom Cruise is a good guy in my book. So yeah. he's there. And you know why he's there? Because A, he supports a lot of charities. And B, he knows how to fly a helicopter. Yeah, he, he does. does know how to fly a helicopter. Yeah. So they know each other. And it was nice to see. Now, see all those four people. That, that's me. Like, if I had been there, oh, I would yeah. be like, oh. Yeah, took in their head. <laughs> yeah. Like, yay. Look at this. I mean, this is just star power. This shows you there is nothing that is going to happen to the monarchy. It is here to stay. You have the biggest superstar and again, in what? America. And again, it doesn't matter politics, religion. You know what I mean? We all have our own religions. We all have our own politics. But you know what? Sometimes you just have to come together and do good work. Yeah. And this is a great charity I've been reading about. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. And I'll put the link in the description below. Here's just another shot of them. I mean, it's just, it's so great. Do you I just, see the um, head tilt from William? Yeah. Do you see that? That's that's definitely a sign of of love. So we also have a little bit of footage of it. So if you guys would like to see it with me, Stephanie hasn't seen this yet. <laughs> what they're saying but said it's great to see you <sighs> tom cruise said it's great to see you at the end and the way tom cruise is touching him it just shows a sign of it i'm sure i'm sure tom cruise is asking about his wife because he knows princess catherine i'm sure he's giving his um uh respect on uh, for for his father the king it's just a lot going on in that moment and you can tell by the body language that there is a lot of love and respect for each other again you can think whatever you want about religion, yeah. politics, but sometimes two people need to come together. And it also goes to show you that that's Hollywood royalty. Yeah. Like him or not, Tom Cruise is Hollywood royalty. The guy, anytime he puts out a movie, it's number one at the box office. Yeah. He could put out a movie where he's whistling for two hours and it'll still be number one. He's just Hollywood royalty. Yeah. And that's, you know, Harry, Megan, sorry, that you're never going to be in that club. I kind of understand like the whole Katie Holmes thing now, what she, what she was doing with that. Cause I always thought I was like, I don't know why Katie Holmes is like into him, you know? Cause I never really got, it. I was very, I'm, I mean, we're, we're, we grew up with Katie Holmes too, Dawson's Creek. I always thought about that. But now I think about it, I go, I get it. You know, now I get it. But then I didn't get I it. I didn't get it. I didn't get time. it back then. No, but I do. But now, now I get it. Yeah. Katie Holmes. I do. Yeah. 
Okay, so they introduced William, and I'm just going to play the part where he thanks everybody for the well wishes that they have given his father and his wife. It's very sweet. Thank you, uh, Jonathan, <clears throat> and good evening, everyone. Thank you all for being here tonight, and thank you to all those whose hard work has made this evening possible. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you also for the kind messages of support for Catherine and for my father, especially in recent days. It means a great deal to us all. Wow. I mean, just so wonderful. He didn't have to say that. He didn't have to mention his wife. He didn't have to mention his dad. He didn't have to do that, but he did it to make us feel better. That's what I love about Prince William. He he did that to calm us down. Yeah. You know what I mean? He did it for us. He didn't do it for himself. Know. He know he's with his wife every day. He's with his dad. You know, he's going home probably to to get on the phone with his dad right now. Yeah. You know, to Zoom call him. But I'm saying he did that for us. And we appreciate that, Prince William. Thank you, because I needed yeah. that. The um, Spencer sisters were also there, the beautiful Spencer sisters. If you guys want to, I'm not going to put all the pictures up here, but they have some great pictures um, of uh, the the entire gala. And if you want to see more pictures, I obviously put the most important ones. I'm, I'm just, I'm so on a Tom Cruise <laughs> Right I now. was gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna watch that tonight. I'll watch it. Rogue tonight. Nation. Yeah, maybe I should watch. Oh it. my god, guys, watch Rogue Nation. And if you haven't, let me Jesus. tell you this: if this is if not you, an ad, it's not. I swear to God, I swear to God. And you asked my mom two days ago. I said, Mom, I have got to just veg out, veg out, because she, she said, "What are you doing tonight?" And I'm go, I just gotta watch one of the Mission Impossible. Yeah, movies. yeah, yeah. Um, is this the newest? It's one? on Amazon Prime. They're the like they're one? uh no, this is. It's this no dead Second reckoning. Yeah, one. no, uh, it's only three seventy nine to rent on Amazon. Oh, Prime. Okay, well, you don't have to tell us. Well, no, I'm again, just saying, this is, again, this is not an ad. It seems like an ad. <laughs> it's now. not. You're telling us how much it costs. No, I'm just saying it's, it's bizarre. I didn't think it would bring me such joy. <laughs> okay, well, sometimes when you're grieving, sometimes these movies help. The the good thing about and and alcohol. The good thing about Rogue Nation is you don't have to see the first Mission Impossibles. You're not confused. They don't talk about any of the old storylines. Okay. Okay. It's great. Yeah. It's just a fun so, action yeah, movie. Prince it's Williams, great. Again, uh, thank God he said something today. So I'm going to pose this question on Saturday for everybody in the live, but I'm going to give you guys a chance who are watching this video now to think about it, okay? In Mission Impossible, his name is Ethan Hunt. Tom Cruise. Okay. I'm going to ask you guys this question. Would you rather have save you, Ethan Hunt or 007 Daniel Craig? Prince William. Okay. No, but that's not, no, we're, we oh. obviously know. Oh, I thought but that I'm that saying, was like, the let's say question. Ethan, let's say Ethan Hunt mm -hmm. and 007, Daniel Craig's 007. I watch those movies. Though. You've seen 007 movies. I've seen, I have really haven't, dude. Oh, God, I'm just, I know, I dude, feel you're bad. you're really missing out. But see, but see, that's the funny thing. You've never seen Gilmore Girls. So I go, how How do you have, you never listened to Taylor I Swift. Have, Stephanie, how, how did it come you didn't Stephanie, watch that? I had to see the newest Wolverine movie because you ran into my house yeah. once, screaming at the top of your lungs I love that Hugh Jackman is the hottest man alive. Oh, I love Hugh Jackman. Okay. Okay, guys. Because he's on Broadway. Doesn't matter what if he dances. Ste he does Stephanie the, jazz hands. Stephanie doesn't know who any of those people are, but I'm asking you, and I'm going to ask you on Saturday. That is going to be the question. Because I don't know who I'd choose. Ethan Hunt <laughs> or Daniel Craig's 007. This is a tough one. So that's what I'm gonna ask you on Saturday. I can't wait to see your <laughs> answers because I don't know who I'd pick. I, I don't know. know. Like, yeah, like. Three days ago, before I rewatched the uh, Mission Impossible, I would have said Daniel Craig 007, but now I don't freaking know. Yeah. So we have the wow. Uh, we have the latest. Uh, um, we just want to get back to this because, of course, Harry thought this was going to be a diversion. He really thinks this is going to go. We're away. We're going to forget about African parks. No. We're going to forget that he's the president and a board member. Yeah. Um, no, we haven't. So Survival International put out this tweet a day ago. We want to bring up their latest tweet. Following the Mail on Sunday's expose of appalling abuses committed by African park rangers against the indigenous Baca people in the Ozala Kokoya National Park, we launched a public campaign for African parks donors such as EU to withdraw their support. So here is what they did. Um, we haven't convinced you yet that big conservation NGOs are crooks. See what African Park replies during an investigation. 
Um, and this is what they said. AP told us that complaints submitted through the grievance mechanism have alerted the organization to allegations of human rights abuses, such as one in which a man accused park rangers at the Ozala Kokoyoa National Park in the Republic of Congo of forcing him to drink gasoline. AP investigated this allegation and concluded that the man had voluntarily drunk. Yeah, okay. So it it's sounds awesome. like African par- AP is an African Parks uh, pocketbook because it's run. Uh, African course. Parks is yeah. run by a billionaire Absolutely. who needs that uh, mining and the uh, all the uh, timber, timber and everything. So this sounds, th- guys. We can't let this go. We have to keep. We just going. have to stay on top of it, you guys. Please, just you know, I stay mean, on top of it. Survival International keeps giving us this. This link. Um, if you haven't signed it, please sign it. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, if Just you haven't had your friends and family sign it, please have them sign it as well. We can't let this. Yeah, let's just stay on top away. of it, guys. Don't let it go. He's back in uh, the West Coast of America again. So he's going to be uh, back to doing nothing, basically. Back yeah. to just sitting on his bum and doing nothing but uh, drink his problems away exactly, and uh, pop some pills now and then allegedly. Yes. So, um, allegedly. <laughs> so we, uh, we have to stay on top of that. So we'll put the link in the description below guys. Yeah. Today's animal rescue is dogs in danger. Dogs in danger believes in the power of compassion and that Americans would do more to help and adopt shelter dogs. If only they knew how many dogs were killed in a year, a month, a day. It's awful. So um, they are a call to action website. Please take a look at them. I'd really appreciate it. They do a lot to get um, dogs out of high kill shelters. I'll put their link in the description below. So we just wish the best for King Charles. We hope that he is recuperating with his first of probably many cancer treatments. I hope um, he's just Taking it easy and uh, kick back and watch stress, the Super Bowl on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Eliminate the stress. Exactly. Cut out the cancer. Yeah, maybe it's best that Harry did leave. So, <laughs> poor he he flew him in and flew him out. Yeah, I'm sticking to that. Either yeah. enjoy Mission Impossible Rogue Nation tonight, or enjoy just looking at pictures of Prince William at the Black and White at Gala because he is so hot. Holy hotness. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-